Do you think if I melted a tunnel straight through the center of the Earth, I'd be able to fly a ship through it? I don't know what happens to gravity in the middle of a planet. Probably nothing good. <laughs> but you gotta find out one way or another. Uh, let's go ahead and test our weapon system real quick. Yeah, okay, Florida has been improved. Now we need to be on course. Oh, Earth, I'm really hoping that my holes are more puckered than yours right now. <laughs> it's getting weird. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Solar Smash. Now, many of you guys may remember the last episode, I rammed Pluto into Uranus, with consent, of course, as well as destroyed Flat Earth, and Round Earth, and Elon Musk's Earth, really every stupid Earth that you can think of. But the one thing I didn't do was check out this button, which I didn't think was that big of a deal, but apparently it has the ability to completely change this game. A lot of you guys were telling me in the comments that if I can summon the super secret special 66 space squadron, then I should be able to take control of one of the ships using this magic little button. Maybe if I do a little something like that. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't really think ahead about how I'm gonna figure out how to fly a spaceship using mobile phone controls on a PC, but we could always find the nuke button. Uh, sorry about that, America. <laughs> I think it was just the southern states. So maybe no one will notice. Okay, to be fair, it's not the shooting that interests me. It's the flying that's probably going to need a little bit of practice. Well, the good news is, in terms of the entire planet, that little misclick didn't really do all that much damage. Like, the bad news is, one poor American is gonna have a real rough day trying to replot the entire left half of the country's IQ bell curve. You guys do see what I mean, though, right? Like, this absolutely does change the game. Because, like, we've used all the weapons before. We've destroyed the planet every way imaginable. But I've always been locked into the exact same perspective. Whereas now, I can experience the destruction on ground level. It's like, I'm wondering, like, what stuff can I shoot out of the air? What stuff can I interact with? What stuff can I fly directly into other than the surface of the planet? <laughs> Just imagine a scenario like this. Maybe the moon is putting on a little bit too much weight, and it decides to take out its revenge on carbs, otherwise known as Italy. But one young space pilot decides, no, I want pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. I will stop the moon. Holy crap, the moon is bigger than I thought. But we can actually shoot it. I think I can't really see. I also can't steer and shoot at the same time, which could be a problem. <laughs> you think they would come up with Oh, crap. That is one Mamma Mia meatball of a mistake. <laughs> oh, no. I thought for sure we'd be able to pickle the moon before it reached the surface. So what the hell am I supposed to do with the smoldering crater that used to be Europe? Oh, I, I probably shouldn't have actually flown in here. This thing doesn't turn around all that well uh what happened to earth <laughs> what is this oh wait i'm willing to bet that's not good i'm inside the planet right now that would be what's left of italy and then the rest of the planet is surrounding me right now i can't shoot my way out can i I may have. I was just shooting right there, but I was like inside of it. So is the earth hollow? This is way too much new information for me to process all at once. The only thing I wanted people to take away from this was the bagel bites are canceled. But apparently earth is like one giant space balloon. And if you hit it just right, it won't pop like it often does. Instead, you'll fly into it for some strange reason. Makes me wonder what would happen if something like a black hole happened to open over China. Except we're going to pause this real quick and get our ship ready, slow things down, and head straight for the event horizon, I suppose. 
I can't imagine my ship is really going to appreciate this. If we keep this up, there isn't going to be any delicious food left. So what kind of world would we live in? What if I shoot at the black hole? Oh, that's weird. It's literally warping around the hole and hitting the earth down there. Right? Oh, no, it's closing. Oh, I am not fast enough. And... I've once again left myself with the planet that's really worse for wear. <laughs> I don't suppose I could just fly into it now. Is this gonna be bad? Am I gonna be able to enter? Fingers crossed! Nope, I respawned. Wait, what? So this time I, I didn't manage to get in, I just popped. No do-overs the second time though. Something with space and time is going real wrong here, and I kind of like it. I think I figured out a trick for us to reach the black hole in time, so I can take control of the ship, let it fly in a little bit, but then release control and pause time, which means I can then open up the black hole, slow down time, and take control again? Okay! Now, oh, the ship doesn't like that. Uh, oh, that's extra weird. And shooting, oh, it does not like getting shot at. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so, is this the inside of a black hole? <laughs> oh, the sounds are awful. Oh, here we go. We're getting somewhere. We come out on the other side. Is this where all the spaghettification happens? Am I alive? Oh, I don't think I'm alive. Um, what was that? Huh, I'm not even gonna try to explain that. Do you think if I melted a tunnel straight through the center of the earth, I'd be able to fly a ship through it? I don't know what happens to gravity in the middle of a planet, probably nothing good. <laughs> but you gotta find out one way or another. Uh, let's go ahead and test our weapon system real quick. Yeah, okay, Florida has been improved. Now we need to be on course. Oh, Earth, I'm really hoping that my holes are more puckered than yours right now. <laughs> it's getting weird. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. But I think we're good. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> We, we were on the other side! I could see open space! I swear to Christ, if this was Florida getting its revenge from beyond the grave, I am gonna make this flight. It's gonna happen. Maybe I just accidentally clipped something? But I could have swore that I didn't. You would think I would clip something a lot sooner than the very end. Come on now, you got this. Okay, I know it's a little wonky and a little warm. Oh, and maybe a little tight, but yeah! <laughs> Suck it, Earth! I think flying out Earth's butthole just gave me an epiphany. You know, like, you wouldn't expect this, but the perspective forces your attention on Earth. When in all reality, it doesn't have to be there. I could probably take this ship and go do other things other places. Like, maybe take a couple of pot shots at the sun? I don't know if this is necessarily a good idea, but I'm all about bad ideas. Maybe we can miss, miss the sun. Oh, gravity, could you not screw with me right now? You're making me look foolish. It's kind of a big target to whiff on. This is another one of those times where I wish aiming and shooting weren't mutually exclusive. <laughs> Am I getting anywhere close? Anything at all? Starting to get the feeling that as a Canadian, I would have better luck spitting out my window and hitting Africa. Speaking of hitting Africa, I think I ramped up the damage that my shot does. This is now a five. We were on a one when we nuked the south, so hopefully this is actually enough to kind of tunnel into the planet. Not nearly a enough, not like that. We've already seen that some countries have the ability to defend themselves from aliens, but maybe I could help them out a little bit? Oh, I gotta hurry up though. This is going to be a tricky shot. Uh, line it up and 
shoot? Oh. Is that a good thing? I think that's a bunch of little UFO bits in the atmosphere. Yeah! I can't believe we managed to kill that thing before it got its shot off. All right, well, celebratory shots for me. I'm the only one who gets to completely screw the planets. Is there a general consensus on how our space squadron are supposed to handle a shield? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe these guys can show me real quick. Okay, we're gonna shoot at it, and... Oh. Uh... I don't know if I can pull that maneuver, but I'll, I'll try. <laughs> All right, so it's a little something like this. We shoot, and then uh, the, the, the trick stick? Which is the trick stick? Okay. I swear to Christ, if they try to take away my space license after receiving no training on how to deal with Cthulhu outbreaks, yeah, you know what? Let's see what happens if I try to stand between Cthulhu and his Mexican food again. It's like I said, I really don't want to know what kind of diarrhea an eldritch god gets, but I'm also not sure what I want to do here, come to think of it. Should I try to shoot him? Because we know we can die. Or should I try to fly in his hole? That would be before the Mexican food, not after. Very important. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna try flying through it. In which case, we don't really need slow motion, so let's just go ahead, buckle up, close our eyes, and hope that we, oh! That was unexpected. I didn't think I was gonna wake up this morning and realize the Cthulhu's butthole and my butthole have something in common. They're only one way. <laughs> Exit, but no entry. I kinda wanna try that again, but shooting at him. Let's uh, slow things down. We'll summon him. And then, uh, I might actually want a little bit more firepower. Let's crank this up real quick. Probably should have prepared before we summoned him, but screw it. <laughs> now, do I aim for the hole or the tentacles? Maybe both, maybe nothing. In all reality, I can't aim worth a crap. <laughs> Let's just shoot at a little bit of everything. Uh, are, are we hitting anything? I think we might be hitting the earth. It's kind of hard to tell. Cthulhu, do you feel that? It's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway back here. Come on, big guy. Call me some slack. There's a tentacle. There's a lot of tentacles. Okay, I'm starting to think that this is doing absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Well, we're in. Oh, and come on, come on. Defend the earth. Defend the earth. Shoot the tentacles we missed. How do I miss a giant space squid? Is, is that it? Is he gone? Am I just gonna go ahead and fly myself into the earth and then see an even bigger hole? Yeah, pretty much. What if our attack takes a bit of a side-on approach? Then he could completely ignore us. <laughs> All right, Cthulhu, well, I may bury my head in shame this time, but you're gonna force me to use my secret weapon. Yeah, that's right. I've been holding on to a little something something. I should be able to use the super laser while flying. Okay, so if we can turn and shoot, and I think that's the earth, turn and shoot, that, that'd that be a tentacle right there. We can see it, just shoot. Just shoot the tentacle. Come on, he's gotta feel that. Am I not hitting anything? I don't think there's any earth back there. This stupid, no, 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 come on. This has to work. I put all my faith into this. I want to see all the broken little squiddy bits. Please shoot the laser. No. <laughs> He's going to leave with Mexico again. <laughs> so close. Oh, I hate that guy. You know what? He can go ahead and hit the road. What am I hitting right now? Am I shooting his hole? Was that a piece of tentacle? I don't know if I just killed him or drove into the planet. Sometimes I get a little upside down, but that may have worked. I mean, it didn't really work for Earth, but it may have worked for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things a little bit. How about we release a space worm and then I'll try to follow him? 
I don't necessarily have to shoot him in his fat ass, even though I easily could. <gasps> I'm more so interested in if I can follow behind him. Yeah, a little something like this. Okay, and now we're going try hard mode when it comes to the flight simulations. <laughs> okay, down. I'm right behind you, Chief. <laughs> I'll be ready to blow up the Death Star in no time. Oh, I actually did it. <laughs> oh, no, he's going back in. No, no, I got cocky. Oh, no, we're fine. We're, we're absolutely fine. Other than the fact that I'm in a giant space worm. But I think... We're good to go. I really can't kill you. Doesn't look like it. Only the shield can kill it. Interesting. But I just flew around the inside of the planet, no problem. I'm getting really good at this. I think it's safe to say there's no way for me to stop that. Yeah, no amount of laser beams or shots are going to be able to prevent that fisting, but maybe I can experience it firsthand. I don't know why I would want to. I swear I'm becoming a masochist. If I play my cards just right. Okay. Yeah, I think that went right through me. So I'm strong enough to avoid a giant space ghost fist in my ship, but I can't really stop myself from, say, having a wing clip the surface and exploding. This is perfectly reasonable. I'm sorry about this Earth. How about we try a little moving target practice? Because we know that these satellites can get shot down, or at least that they can fly into the surface of the planet, but I might be able to shoot them down. Let's try a little something like this. Oh, yeah, that's actually surprisingly effective. <laughs> you don't need to aim all that much. They're a little bit slower than I would have expected. Okay, you're welcome, Earth. I did my best. <laughs> and turns you into Pac-Man. Is it safe to assume that flying through the thunderstorm is just stupid? I don't need to get hit by that for me to crap myself in terror. <laughs> so this is Earth. Real scenic, I know. A little bit warm, also a little bit cold. I didn't even hit anything there. I swear, sometimes my ship is just like, out of gas. Oh, no. I've been so busy screwing around with these controls using the ship that I hadn't even realized they apply to all weapons. And now I can just hold down on the button and spam anything like these bombs that are filling up the remainder of Earth. <laughs> Wonder what would happen if my ship flew into that? Yeah, you know what, I wanted to end the episode on a big bang, and this is at the very least gonna end the episode because the game crashes. <laughs> we might get a bang, we might just get a blue screen. It's only one way of finding out, I'm gonna wait till I'm real close. I wanna see the white of their eyes before I fire. <laughs> Um, I, oh, okay, is the ship gone? Yeah, I think the ship's gone as well as, uh, well, most of the planet and space time and my frame rate. Okay, yeah, I think that was effective. All right, you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Solar Smash, guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to return until there's another update because I've really explored everything, I think. But when there is more to this game, I definitely wanna play more because I think it's just one of the funniest games out there. And I also wanna check out something like Universe Sandbox Sim. You guys were leaving a bunch of likes and a bunch of support on the last video for something like that. So again, if you wanna see more space stuff, leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to blow up whatever's left of Earth. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.